Right, we've made all the notes. It's now time to put them into the right sequence to play Ode to Joy. And that's what we're going to do right now. Where do we begin? Well, you should have seen the actual music for Ode to Joy, but if not, we're going to start at the point where you put in, when you click Ode to Joy button, that's the blue one, we want it to play the notes. So we're starting with the E note and so on. So you put the notes that you have created using my block into sequence. And if you follow in the music sheet, it has all the notes in the right order that you need to put into place. And as you can see, that's exactly what we're doing. All the notes that we have defined are now being put nicely into place one after the other so that when the Ode to Joy button here is clicked, it will actually play those notes. Right, try and make sure that you've got them all in the right sequence. So, so far, what have we got here? We've got E, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C sharp, C sharp, D, E, E, D. And I think that should more, another D to end. And that's more or less what we need. By clicking, by clicking on the yellow orange block at the top, we get to hear what it sounds like. Hmm, doesn't qu sound quite right. So we may have to make one or two changes. So what we've done is we're shifting the block. I'm going to try and figure out where we need to make the changes. Somewhere in there, we haven't got the right sound. So we're going to, by pulling on parts of the block, you can... So at this point, we've tried it and there's something not quite right in the sound. And break it apart and change some notes so that it sounds better. So, yep, there it goes. So we're going to pull down the last five notes, take off two notes and insert two C's. Now we're going to have to make a new note in, at this point because the D note is a one beat, is um, a 0 0.5 beat instead of 0 0.25. So we're going to call it a D1, define it using my block and then actually add the notes, play note. The D note, which is D50, that's not quite the right sound, it should be D50 at 0 0.5 instead of 0 0.25 so it's twice the beat of the first one and we're going to name that and we're doing the same one for a G1 note because we're going to need um, a 0 0.5 beat G1 note as well so we've defined the block we add the note the note and the beat that we want it to form so we want it to play a G note which you can find by clicking on the 60, the piano comes out and, and then make sure it's a 0 0.5 beat. Now those are the last two notes we need to make the Ode to Joy sequence correct. Don't forget to add the broadcast just to say if a new message, a G1 should be sent out when a G1 is played and a D1 should be sent out when the D1 is played. So we're inserting those broadcasts to each of the notes we're defining. So that one's a D1, we need a new message because we hadn't, didn't have one before. We want it to broadcast D1 and so we are now ready to put the sequence together. The last D1, the D1 goes at the bottom of this first sequence. We add it to the bottom and when we play it, mm, sounds okay. That last note, mm, kind of, but we're still going to go ahead and continue to make the sequence. So we know from the music that you've been given that the second sequence is more or less the same as the first apart from the last couple of notes. So you right click on the first block. When you, you take it off the orange part, right click on it and click duplicate. That duplicates the entire block. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change just a, a few notes to make the second part of the Ode to Joy. So as you can see here, I am going to pull off a few notes at the bottom and I'm going to replace them with a D, a C and another, hold on one second, oh I have to make a block again, um, this is the G, G1 block, C1 block because the C beat is actually a C zero point, uh, it's a 0 0.5 beat, it's a C note but it's a 0 0.5 0 
note so it's slightly longer now if you're a musician you probably know more than I do so this just gives you an idea on how to form the notes but those of you who are really into music will know don't forget to add the broadcast message so that we know that that note has been played so we want to broadcast a C1 message if it's not there already you simply add it so that's complete the next stage is to complete the second block of notes by adding the last note which is the C1 note you just made so you put that on the bottom and you take the second column and you move it directly under the first column to complete the whole ode to joy click on the top and you you should hear it play the full ode to joy Let's try it. <laughs> 